extracting an image using the pen tool. I am going to go ahead and create a duplicate for my background. I don't really want to use my original image. I'm just going to rename this into image. Um, I'm also going to, going to create another layer and this is going to be the background um, color of my layout. I'm just going to use the color or the shade white for the background. Selecting the image again and I'm going to go ahead and select the pen tool. Go ahead and click wherever, it doesn't really matter where you start. And um, for example here, this is a curve, so you want to click every time the shape changes. The smaller the distance, the more detailed or the better your extraction is going to be. I'm just doing a quick one and my bottom isn't as straight as I want it to be, but um, if this was a demo, I'd probably go back and redo that portion. Just clicking along, this is just more detailed so you can see how closer the distance is between each, each click. And also, I didn't zoom in so that um, everything will fit into the video, but if this was an actual um, thing that I'm doing, an actual extraction, I would probably zoom in more. Once you're complete, right click and select make selection. Make sure the feather or radius is zero and the anti-alias is checked. Click OK and now you have the marching ant around the image. You want to inverse this because we don't want to remove the image itself but whatever is on the background. And on your keyboard just push the delete button and now you have the background extracted.